Sicilian defense, can, modern, Swiss cheese variation. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of. White outmaneuvered Black in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop has a fresh opening created by e6, and the queen has a new diagonal created by e6. D4 offers to trade the more important central D4 pawn for the C5 pawn in exchange for more control of the center and quick development. Cx D4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx D4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. A6 prepares for a B5 pawn push to gain space on the queen side and stops the white pieces from using the B5 square. BD3 supports the E4 pawn, if the E4 pawn ever moves, the bishop on D3 will be attacking black's king side. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto to G7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. This move puts the knight on a safer square. It is the last book move. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. A solid choice. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The bishop is now in a secure position. That's good. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. There is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. That's fine. It is good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is quite good. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. It is excellent. Backs off. It is ideal. This allows the knight to control more squares. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. Recaptures. This poses a knight winning threat. It is ideal. This stops the opponent from being able to win a knight. It is good. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. 
it is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This blows the chance to capture an outpost with a bishop. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is best. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. As a result, a knight who was in danger of gaining material is now gone. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. White is worse at this point in the end game. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This passes up the chance to capture an outpost with a bishop. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It falls flat. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This permits the opponent to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is a mistake. A solid choice. It is excellent. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was a well fought middle game that black got the better of. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.